welcome everyone in this video we are going to see mathematical representation of am and bandwidth of am time and frequency domain expression of am wave first we will see what is amplitude modulation then we will go for time domain description then frequency domain description in the last video we discussed about modulation and need for modulation Amplitude modulation is defined as the modulation in which the amplitude of the carrier wave is varied in accordance with the instantaneous amplitude of the modulating signal keeping carrier frequency and phase constant. Now we will see what is time domain description. In the time domain description we are going to find equation for standard AM wave. The instantaneous value of modulating signal is given by m of t equal to am cos 2 pi fm t. Here m of t message signal with respect to time, am amplitude of message signal, fm frequency of message signal. This we are marking it as equation number 1. Instantaneous value of carrier signal that is given by c of t equal to ac cos 2 pi f c t. Here c of t carrier signal with respect to time ac amplitude of carrier signal fc frequency of carrier signal. The time domain expression for the standard am wave is s of t equal to ac 1 plus k m of t cos 2 pi f c t that we are marking it as equation number 3. Here k a is a constant and it is called amplitude sensitivity of the modulator. Now we are going to substitute equation 1 in equation 3. Equation 1 stands for message signal m of t which is equal to am cos 2 pi fmt that we are going to substitute in this equation. So when we substitute we get it as s of t ac 1 plus ka instead of m of t we are substituting cos 2 pi fmt then cos 2 pi fct s of t equal to ac 1 plus instead of ka am we can write it as mu cos 2 pi fmt cos 2 pi fct mu equal to ka am that is called modulation index or modulation factor the previous equation can be expanded and written as s of t equal to ac cos 2 pi fct plus mu ac cos 2 pi fct into cos 2 pi fmt when you write, you try to write it as Fc first, then Fm. The reason is Fc, that is carrier frequency, that is of high frequency signal. Fm, message signal, that is low frequency signal. This equation can be again expanded and can be written using the trigonometric relation cos A into cos B, that is equal to 1 by 2 cos A minus B plus 1 by 2 cos a plus b here we can see cos a into cos b so we are applying the relation here and expanding now we can write s of t equal to ac cos 2 pi f c t ac cos 2 pi f c t plus mu ac divided by 2 cos 2 pi f c minus 2 pi fm of t plus mu ac by 2 cos 2 pi fc plus 2 pi fm of t that is equation number 5 this has three terms first frequency component second frequency component and third frequency component 
equation 5 is the amplitude modulated signal equation 5 can be rearranged and can be written as s of t equal to ac cos 2 pi fct plus mu ac by 2 cos 2 pi fc minus fm of t plus mu ac by 2 cos 2 pi fc plus fm of t in this the first term is a carrier itself it has frequency fc and amplitude ac second term is mu ac by 2 cos 2 pi fc minus fm of t it has frequency fc minus fm called lower sideband and having amplitude mu ac by 2 third term that is the last term it is mu ac by 2 cos fc plus fm of t it has frequency fc plus fm and it is called upper sideband it has amplitude mu ac by 2 that's all about standard am in time domain representation next frequency domain description of standard am wave time domain description of conventional am wave can be written as s of t equal to ac 1 plus ka m of t cos 2 pi fct that can be expanded and written s of t equal to ac cos 2 pi fct plus ac k m of t cos 2 pi fct we have to convert time domain to frequency domain so we are going for fourier transform amplitude spectrum of the am wave has two side bands on either sides of plus or minus fc for positive frequencies highest frequency component of the am wave equals to fc plus w called upper sideband f usb and lowest frequency component equals to fc minus w and that is called lower sideband f lsb transmission bandwidth here you can see frequency domain carrier of single tone am fc carrier frequency upper sideband is located at fc plus fm and lower sideband located at fc minus fm and the transmission bandwidth that is the difference between upper sideband and lower sideband frequencies so we can write it as bt equal to f usb minus f lsb so we can write f usb fc plus fm f lsb fc minus fm we can substitute here fc plus fm minus fc minus fm expand fc plus fm minus when it comes here minus fc minus and minus becomes plus fm we can cancel plus fc minus fc on the remaining term fm and fm so we get it as bt equal to 2 fm from this we can say bandwidth required for transmission of am wave is twice the modulating frequency that is 2 fm 2 times frequency of message signal thanks for watching take care